Hello and welcome to another episode of From the Helm with Marine Max. I am your host, Lisa, and he is your other host, Kelly. And today we are coming to you with some news from Minnesota. So be sure to like and comment. If you have any questions, please drop them below. And as always, subscribe and follow us on Facebook at Marine Max Leisure, on Instagram and YouTube at Marine Max Online, and at Twitter at Marine Max, where we are bringing you all the boating news straight to your computer. Uh, today's boating broadcast is featuring spring boating in Minnesota. And we have Mr. Eric Forsberg, Marine Max General Manager, and Mr. Mike Anderson, five-time Chairman Circle award-winning sales consultant. <laughs> Welcome, guys. It's great to have you here. Hi. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah, for well, sure. How's, how's the weather up there? Uh, it the kind of comes and goes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Minnesota. Right. Yeah. So, Mike, it looks like you have an interesting background there. Can you tell us a little bit about where you are today? Yeah, I'm at our Excelsior shop today. So we're right on Lake Minnetonka. Um, i got a beautiful Nauti G25 behind me. It's a pleasure to be in here again for a little bit anyways. Um, weather's been a little chilly, but we're in full delivery, delivery mode right now. We've got the next five weeks are pretty hectic. Yeah, and what does delivery mode mean? Uh, well, in Minnesota, it's a little different than anywhere else. We uh, sell, start selling boats in the fall that get to sit up at our Rogers facility. Nobody gets to play with them until spring. So <laughs> everything we've sold from September to now all goes in the water in the next five or six weeks. All right, so you're so definitely seeing, hearing from people wanting to get their boat out. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've got an early ice out this year, so we're about a month ahead. Um, so people are pretty amped to go boating, especially in today's climate. We've got, uh, it's one of the things you can still do with your family. Yeah. For sure. Very nice. All right, Eric, you don't, you don't have any boats behind you. Where are you coming to us from today? I am at our uh, Rogers facility. Um, so what Mike was talking about, all the boats that are sold between all three of the locations here in Minnesota, um, basically just get housed here and they sit under snow <laughs> for a handful of months until this time hits. And I saw what was uh, called on Lake Minnetonka, um, I believe it was April 2nd, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. which is kind of the unofficial sign of spring for all of Minnesota. And so in addition to uh, a lot of boats that we sold throughout the winter that, that customers are itching to get, we also have close to 400 storage boats. So in the Rogers facility, we, we keep a lot of storage boats of our customers from the past handful of years. And so Many of those, well, about 50% of them are on trailers and customers will end up picking up as they get recommissioned and run up and ready for, for, for going in the water. And then the other half, we actually have to deliver with uh, either a semi or a, a couple of big trucks and big trailers to, to put them in the water. So Eric, uh, three locations around the Twin Cities. Uh, could you kind of tell us, uh, the viewers, about you know what, what are the differences between each store? Because each one kind of has its own flavor, if you will. Uh, what are some of the differences? Yeah, it's a great question. So um, where, where I'm sitting right now at our Rogers location is on Interstate uh, 94, which is the northwest side of the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area. Um, this building actually was one of the initial buildings when Marine Max came to be Marine Max back in 1998. Um, previous to that, it was uh, Cochrane Marine. And so it's it's been here for a long time. It's a big footprint. Um, big service facility. We've got nine techs that work out of here and, and do service for all three of the locations. In addition to um, a couple acres worth of a field for more or less, that is a storage facility and then a shed as well. So that's a highway store. Um, and to your point, has a little bit different flavor than a couple of the other locations. I-94 goes northwest out of the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area and goes to um, northern Minnesota, where there's a lot of lakes. Um, Lake Minnetonka, the Excelsior location that Mike's sitting at, is on Lake Minnetonka, which is west of the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area, and is um, in Excelsior, which is the southeast part of Lake Minnetonka. And Lake Minnetonka has over 100 miles of shoreline, um, a bunch of different bays and coves. Um, I think it's a 14,000 acre lake or just over that. So it's a really big lake. And then our Bayport location is on the east side of the Minneapolis St. Paul area. And that's a sales center that's on the St. Croix River, which is right between um, Minnesota and Wisconsin. And it's uh, 
all all three locations are different boats or different boating right we're selling boats to small lakes in northern minnesota out of rogers we're selling really good sized boats to lake minnetonka um and then over in bayport it's even bigger boats because the st croix river will will have i mean for every 20 foot boat there's a 50 foot boat out on the river mm -hmm. So, Mike, uh, you're at the Excelsior location, and uh, clearly now you're, uh, you've magically transitioned to being outside. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the Excelsior location and why it's such a, a great location for boaters? Yeah, the Excelsior, we're right on the water. We've got a launch here. Um, we're a block from downtown Excelsior and also very close to Wyzetta, which is probably the heart of most of our market here in the state. Um, you know, like Eric alluded to earlier, but there's... Uh, over 120 miles of shoreline. So there's a lot of property here, um, a lot of boaters, a lot of passionate boaters in different facets too. Anything from a nautique where wake surfing, wakeboarding, and that sort of family water sports is popular to, you know, the entertaining cruisers where, you know, we'll do a, a we saw a lot of boats between 28 and 40 feet in the open ball category. Not a lot on the overnight side. There are some of that, but most of it is heading home at the end of the night, but between marinas and people living on the lake, uh, most of the boating is day-style boating here. And I saw that you had a Nautique uh, behind you when you were indoors. Could you tell us a little bit about why Nautique is such a perfect brand of water sports boats uh, for that Minnesota Twin Seas area? Uh, it fits in really well with, with uh, what we saw in the Marine Max family as well. A higher end product. Um, they've been wake surf, wake board, boat of the year six out of the last seven years in the g23 so um the sport wake surfing is really blown up in the last five years i've been in the business for almost 20 and i think this is six or seven with nautique and it's amazing to see how that's changed in the last handful of years mm -hmm. and i think mainly it's uh families are way more active and more things to do with the kids and it's um, you know, the kids and even, you know, people in their 60s and 70s are surfing. So it's changed that dynamic a lot from the day when there used to be a lot of cruisers out here. Um, it's shifted quite a bit. And you talk about it, it's kind of shifted. I mean, uh, you know, obviously outboard or, or center consoles uh, are, are becoming a bigger thing. Can you tell us maybe just about some of the, you know, this, the, the pleasure boat experience you can get out on uh, the Excel Excelsior location? Yeah, um, we do a, a, a fair amount with the whalers. Um, the outboard stuff hasn't caught on as much here yet just because of the maintenance level isn't the same as it is in salt. But, and a lot of people don't want to give up their swim platforms. But, you know, they've become, they're a floating entertainment center. You know, so mm -hmm. out here guys will go out, throw the hook, hang out for the day, and it's their cabin on the water for the afternoon where the kids can swim. And you can, you know, the things that are on these boats now, you can grill, you're pretty self-contained all day, you know. So it makes, makes for a fun day. What yeah. about uh, SLX 400? Would that be a decent boat out there? <laughs> That's a pretty sweet one to have out here. We've, uh, I think we'll deliver the 10th one here in a couple of weeks. It's been a pretty popular boat here. So it kind of gives you the, the best of everything. They dub, they dub it the entertainer for good reason. I mean, two grills, two refrigerators, wine fridge if you want one, dual, um, all joystick driven. You know, there's a lot to flip down hall side there's a lot that you can do on an afternoon on the water yeah sorry guys i gotta run i got a customer walking by have a good uh, afternoon and appreciate the time all right thank you very much mike we appreciate it <laughs> all right well so sad to see him go but happy that he's helping another boater get out on the water um so eric maybe you can help enlighten us just give a little bit of um background about what recommissioning is and how you guys are going about it in uh the, the times today yeah um so again in minnesota just because of the seasonality <clears throat> we've got an extremely busy six or eight weeks um towards the end of the season september october kind of that period where out of the rogers location where we do the service work we'll actually touch somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand to twelve hundred boats um and that's a full winterizing so everything gets drained um coolant and, and everything gets gets drained um, and made safe for the winter. Um, and then come spring, we undo all that. <laughs> so from a recommissioning standpoint, everything that we've got here stored, in addition to boats that get dropped off in, in the spring, uh, need a complete run up, um, 
you know, new fuel put in, all the plugs put in, everything run up and ready for the water. And so again, a good number of our storage boats are trailerable. A good number are uh, semi loads, like the 400 SLX that Mike was talking about. And so those folks, as soon as ice gets out again this year, um, April 2nd, and basically through Memorial Day, we're touching each and each and every one of those boats again and getting them in the water so that folks can take advantage of the roughly 13 weeks of summer that we have here in Minnesota. So it's kind of one of those uh, work hard, play hard type of situations where <laughs> when the sun is shining, make hay. I don't know what other sort of uh, <laughs> things I can throw out there, but really at the end of the day, that that's what it's all about is people, people want to get out after being cooped up all winter, being mm -hmm. cold, they want to have the sun in their face. They want to be with their friends, be with their family. A um, little bit different situation this spring, obviously, but we're, uh, we're, we're going to get everybody on the water and make sure that we take, you know, take advantage of the sun coming. We might not be face to face with them, but um, we're, we're here to answer any questions that they have. Uh, one of the additions that just came out is the Marine Max app, which we're really excited about, which is something that uh, our customers can basically request any sort of service work that they want to have, whether it's mobily or a drop off service and um, can get the entire work order, for lack of a better explanation, written prior to that boat being touched by a technician. Wow. And it's all kind of seamless. It's, it's without having to have that face-to-face that -face contact, um, but it's still very personable because we can send um, pictures and videos and comments back and forth to make sure that not only we're being safe, but they're also being taken care of and, and understand where they're at in the process. I know, I know that the Marie Max app is fairly new. We've been rolling that out. It's, I've played with it a little bit myself. It's such a great tool. You know, when you're um, thinking about, oh man, I need to get my boat out. It's usually like at midnight when you're in bed. So it's nice to just pop open the app and say, hey, Marine Max Excelsior, I need my boat this weekend. Um, so if you haven't downloaded the app, it is marinemax.com backslash app, uh, available on iTunes and Android. There are, um, you can research events and classes, most of which are going to a virtual platform at this point. Um, and uh, I know that there's a great blog resource there if you're interested in doing some boating learning. Uh, very, very cool stuff. All right, so I know that um, we're taking people, take care of people, getting them out on the water with spring recommissioning and service. On the sales side of things, I know that there's a lot of featured boats. We've got um, some 2019s left in inventory that we're trying to push. Um, obviously, you know, getting people's staycation started now with a, a you know, white glove concierge service. If, if you're looking to shop for a boat, we've got the boat walkthroughs um, and, and all the stuff that Eric was talking about earlier. Do, should we want jump into some inventory and take a look at what's going on or what, what do you yeah. got, Kelly? And, and I want to just show something real quick. So I'll bring it up on the screen here. So basically we have featured boats. So uh, at any given moment, you can check out uh, marinemax.com and see what the featured boats are, including featured boat of the week. Um, and you can actually have this specific to your location. So if you are one of the lucky people to be up in the Twin Cities, uh, you can see all the, the latest boats we have available uh, on our featured boat section. For So for sure, and we can go through a couple of those featured boats that are in the, the Minnesota area. Nice. So Eric, what are you seeing at people um, like coming in? What are they shopping for? So it, kind of going back to right different stores. I've got three different stores in Minnesota. They're kind of different markets. And so um, it, start over in Bayport, for an example. We've got an absolutely gorgeous 43 foot um, Azimut. It's the 43 Atlantis. And that's a, an Italian yacht. And we've had the pleasure of having a few of them in stock throughout the last few years. Very well received boat, 43 foot. Um, yeah, that's it right there. Absolutely gorgeous boat. It's got a couple staterooms in it, a, a full beam uh, master that's wow. in the bow, and it'll seat at, or it'll actually sleep um, five full size adults with a couple heads in it and a summer kitchen off the back. So beautiful boat, beautiful for cruising up and down the St. Croix River. Um, by the way, uh, if if you hopped on the St. Croix River, you could actually make your way all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. And we've had a handful of our customers make that trip. Wow. And they'll spend some time through the, the Panhandle and down into Florida through the Gulf. And then they'll bring it back up and they'll make that a winter trip and then come back up here in the summer. And so oh my gosh. that'd be a perfect boat for doing something like that. 
And then, you know, it, it's it's interesting because, it, again, the, the Rogers area or the Rogers store will sell a lot of smaller boats up to all of the small 10,000 plus lakes that we have in Minnesota, in, in northern Minnesota. And so that could be anything from a, a 19 foot Sea Ray SPX, a small sport boat, um, all the way up through, we've got a, a beautiful used 2004 260 Dancer. And so that's a boat that we sold new um, 16 years ago. It's wow. had a couple owners yep um cool. very well taken care of and uh it, it's kind of that mid-sized cruiser right where where you still have a little bit of a cabin but it, it seats you know five six seven eight adults in the uh in the cockpit area there mm -hmm. and it's a perfect boat for a lot of different lakes throughout minnesota to just spend the day out on and then lastly right. you know, mike was talking about the nautiques Mm -hmm. And that's a boat that can be used on any lake too. Lake Minnetonka is a big lake for that. Um, water sports, just the surfing, the wakeboarding, all of that stuff is very, very popular these days. In fact, it's the fastest growing segment in the United States and very, very strong in Minnesota. And so that's a 2019. Yeah, we've got a couple of those. And so Mike talked about it being the wakeboard and the wake surf boat of the year multiple times. Um, that's a beautiful uh, gray hull white boat with the brown interior. Yep. And when you come, it's kind of like, I don't know, you've got Toyotas and Hondas and, and, and Chevys and Fords, and then you've got like this Cadillac, right? And that's what mm -hmm. the not. It's just perfect. Every mm -hmm. little pitch is perfect on that boat, and it throws a great wave. Well, and it shows the amount of storage, especially in that image right there. You can see like basically any seating location you can flip up and you're going to be able to store something away. And not only the seating locations, but also you look down below um, in the flooring itself, uh, you actually have a place for a cooler too. So, I mean, no matter where you're going to find storage and uh, a, a place to put a beverage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It, you know, Nautic unique in the fact, yeah, there's a, a massive storage compartment with a subwoofer there too underneath yep. the, the port side. Um, but, you know, Nautic, Nautic has full subfloor ballast, which means that, so when Nautique developed the, the G boats a handful of years ago, it was a brand new boat, brand new concept, brand new hull and everything. And so when they designed it from scratch, they were able to build the hull and the stringer system and put the ballast inside and then put the deck up on top of that. And so you get this big, huge amount of, of um, storage on top of the actual deck, knowing that all of the weight is going to be underneath that deck, as opposed to some others that throw bags and fat sacks and some different uh -huh. things into, and, and it uses all of your storage, right? Yeah. So it's great to have 12 people with you, but where do you put their stuff <laughs> while right. you're spending all day on the, on the water? No, I remember growing up. So I lived on an inland lake in Michigan and we had like a 17 foot Larson. I loved that boat. It was blue. Um, and we went skiing and our neighbors got a Nautique and it was an older Nautique, um, but they still had that ballast system, which was absolutely amazing. Because we, in our little Larson, would put everybody on the back. Like, everybody sit in the back. We got to wait down the back so the wake, wake is bigger. And this boat came onto our lake, and it had all this technology. It's like, oh, let me just push a button, and now I have a bigger wake. Like, yeah. what? So, <laughs> I, I know. Kelly, do you have a video of that one? Uh, so I do, uh, and actually, I think that this will be a treat for everybody. So this is a this is the lineup. So like the Nautique lineup, uh, every year uh, Nautique does a, a whole promotional video uh, for their entire Ooh. lineup. So let's uh, let's check that out, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Uh, if you guys want to turn your volume down a little bit, just to make sure everything's good to go, and we'll uh, we'll get it off and running here. Oh, 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 
Hey, and Eric, as I play this, uh, I mean, if you want to kind of talk about some of just the, the major benefits of, <laughs> I mean, this is about the lifestyle of boating, uh, especially when it comes to a boat like Nautique. Um, you know, what are some of the things about these boats that just get you excited to be back out on the water, especially after a long winter? Yeah, well, so, I mean, it's a great video, right? And it, it, it talks about, or it shows how much fun you can have on a boat. Now it's great to go out and cruise and have a glass of wine and grill a steak or something like that. But if you really want to have fun, get behind a Nautique and there's nothing that you can't do. I mean, you can pull a tube, you can obviously surf behind it. You can wakeboard, um, you can ski, you can mm -hmm. jump, <laughs> ski jump. I mean, all of that stuff can be done behind a Nautique. And so um, really, really classy boats, uh, full lineup, anything from 20 foot up to 25 feet. Uh, last fall, they introduced what was called the 23 G23 Paragon. I saw that in the video. Big, big brother of the G23. And then shortly after that, they came out with the G25 Paragon. And they're just beasts. I mean, they're just tanks. And they're so nice on the inside. And they just, they cruise so well. And to, to have fun at 10 and 11 miles an hour surfing mm -hmm. in Minnesota. <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't happen. You can go up to Lake Superior, right, in northern, and 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 at the wrong times of the year, when it's cold, when the water's cold, when it's snowing, and you can put a, a wetsuit or a dry yeah. suit on, and you can Why go not? out and actually surf. But this is something that you can do all summer long. Well, and, and you said, uh, you know, that it's you, you have those different types of boating where this is like a boat where you can, you know, basically you get a workout doing it. But at the same time, I mean, nautiques are also known to just – sit and relax too i mean you can hop out on the water and just maybe cruise a little bit or just just you know hang out at the dock and relax a little bit with your family and friends uh it's the perfect way to do it yeah it's a great point in fact if a few of the models this last year last couple of years they introduced the the transom seating so you've got mm -hmm. the cockpit where all the seats are facing to the inside and a flip back seat inside the cockpit so you can see what's going on behind you but now they've got transom seats, or, which are right there on the swim platform. So when you're just hanging, there's a couple holders there. So you can hang out there for a while, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you're hanging out at, at the, the sandbar or on the beach or next to the dock or other boats, doesn't really matter. It's a great place to just lounge and socialize. Nice. Hey. And uh, Go ahead, Kelly. Well, I mean, I'm kind of here. Let's let you, Lisa, let's let you go first because I have a whole, like, I'm just like jumping because it, it excites me to think about all the opportunities here, uh, especially in the Midwest at this time of year. So go no, for it. I know. Well, that's what I was going to get into. Um, some of like the fun <laughs> events that you guys usually have during the summer months. I know the Minnesota Wake Surf Championship on Lake Minnetonka is one of the biggest things I, I did. I wrote a story about that last year or so. I, the whole time, I was like, oh, my gosh, I want to go to this. Um, so we, we checked out their website, and we saw that they did postpone it till September 19th. But, Eric, I just wanted to, you know, have you talk about this a little, a little bit. I know that there's a special relationship with the, the Wake Surf community and everything that they do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in general, it, it, is, a, it is a close community. Um, and, and not any different than just boating in, in general, right? But, <clears throat> excuse me. The Wake Surf Championship was started by uh, a couple guys that we got to know a handful of years ago. Uh, we jumped at the chance to be able to sponsor it and um, and help produce this event. So it's it's an actual Wake Surf event that uh, these Wake Surfers go not only all through the country but all over the world to take part in these events. And and we'll have a um, hundred of them roughly in all different ages, all different skill levels that'll mm -hmm. come and actually compete for it. So the, the, the concept behind these two gentlemen, Andrew Wigman and Chad McShane, when they started this was to not only just have the event, but what can we do with the community or other people or places or things or groups to, to try to get them involved. And so part of that is the Wake for Warriors, which is a, a veterans organization that also travels around the country and um, takes that, that close knit community of veterans and gives them a chance to learn about wake surfing and, and feel mm -hmm. that, that sense of community and camaraderie with it. And so part of the event traditionally has been a day of taking veterans out um, on, on the boats, which is fun. That's no, great. that is an exceptional thing. Um, and then earlier we were talking about uh, the wiggle your toes uh, right. portion of that. Could you elaborate a bit on that piece? 
Yeah, so a little bit of an extension, not specifically with veterans. Yeah. However, there, there are some that, that would fall into this category, but anybody who's lost a limb um, for, for various reasons, there's a company that they started working with or we started working with to um, provide prosthetics, uh, a different type of setup of a prosthetic that can be strapped into a wakeboard or strapped onto a surfboard and um, gives them an opportunity to come out and try it, uh, try the new prosthetics, try the wake surfing sport. Some of them are actually um, have, have taken part in the sport before and they just want to try a different feel, right? A different prosthetic, mm -hmm. something that might work out better for them. So we, we in conjunction with the, the gentleman that put on the Minnesota Wake Surf Championship, really tried to make it not only just a, a, a wake surf event, but what else can we do within the community to be able to bring people to this sport and to the community of boating? Right. And I, another, I keep listing all these things, but the, the riverboat cruise was another piece of it, which is huge on Lake Minnetonka. Real quick, before we get into that, I, I'd like to, uh, we have a cool <laughs> video. I, you know, I, I, I'm pulling things up and uh, I, I remember we have a great video for this too, uh, for the Minnesota Wake uh, Championship. So let me just play yeah. that real quick and get people hyped up about it. Cool. Hype it up. And uh, press this, solo on, boom. Tons of people get come out to this uh, event. It's just, uh, and you have some some pros, some nautique riders there too. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's neat. It's just a really, really neat experience, right? So, <clears throat> and all that is on Lake Minnetonka, which is where our, our Excelsior location is. And so you can get a little bit of a glimpse of the lake and all the different types of boats that are out there in the background. Um, it's a great group of people. It's in conjunction with a, um, a couple of city festivals that are around the lake. And to, to Mike's point earlier, it's just passionate boaters. A lot of real estate on the lake. Like I said, 100, 120 miles of lakeshore, a lot of real estate on the lake, a lot of boats, but there's a lot of space and people just love to come out and take part in something like that. For mm -hmm. sure. Wow. For sure. I mean, you could see all the different facets of, of that. I mean, I say one of that, but there's so many different days involved. And like I was mentioning earlier, the riverboat cruise helps raise money for Wake for Warriors. <laughs> Uh, just mm -hmm. one event with so many different facets to bring all these different types of boaters together from right. different different walks of life, which is right. I think why we all love boating, right? Is that it's an it just brings people together. Yeah, it, and you know. 
part of what Marine Max has done from the get-go, and you guys covered a lot, a lot of our dealers just talk about it, is all the different events that we do, all the different things that we we do to, to teach our customers how to take advantage of their boat, right, and, and take advantage of just the boating lifestyle. Um, good, bad, or otherwise, in Minnesota, because the season is so short, we, we don't always get a big opportunity to be able to do those things slowly throughout the year. So in addition to <laughs> rapid fire, getting everybody onto the water in the spring, right? And um, then try to fit in a few different events to be able to teach teach our customers and, and take part ourselves in just the, the leisure and the community and the, the water sports portion of it. Um, and then rapid fire to get everything <laughs> off the lake <laughs> and, and wrapped up and, and before the snow falls. Um, we don't get a chance in Minnesota to, to do many events, but Minnesota Wake Surf Championship is a big one. Um, the riverboat cruise that, that goes with that, we, we hold a handful of women on water classes um, to make sure that everybody's comfortable being able to, uh, to use and operate their boats. Um, a Docktails series at our Bayport location, inviting um, you know, prospects and, and our current family, our current owners kind of back together just as a community. Um, they, we hold it kind of behind different people's boats that have uh, purchased from us in the past in, in the marina that we're at, mm -hmm. at, at the Bayport location. And so um, it, it's just really that family, that community uh, effect. And, and it's great. It, it's fun to be part of it. Yeah, and obviously, you know, social distancing disclaimer here. We're we're not hosting events right now. We're not getting people together right now. Um, we are uh, experimenting with virtual classes. We've got a couple stores who are going to do virtual women on water courses. Uh, we even had some virtual uh, rendezvous where we get some owners together. Um, you know, obviously, we can't get people together right now, so we're doing our best to utilize our digital resources to just replicate what Marine Max does, and it's get boaters together. You know, you could be on your boat at your house. I can be on my boat at my house and we can zoom each other and have our cocktail and, you know, still, um, you know, feel like we're connected, even though we're not. Um, so but one of the solo things you can do on your boat fishing sure. I, is, is fishing a big thing up in, in Lake Minnesota? Is it? <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's fishing, obvious fishing, question. A big thing in Michigan? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, of course. Tournaments yeah. all the time. Um, yeah. So, what season, uh, Kelly? I know you know more about this than I do. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and uh, I know that there's a certain opener uh, that's uh, soon. It's right on the horizon there up in Minnesota. Could you tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, um, walleye opener, right? And it, it's kind of right around the corner. Um, to be determined, right? With everything that's going on, unfortunately, yeah. they, they did cancel the uh, the governor's open, um, which is a tradition year after year that the governor and his his group and his staff kind of go out for fishing opener. Um, they did cancel that due to the social distancing. However, um, apart from that, if you and just your family are in a boat, yeah, there's plenty of places to go fishing um, all summer long. Um, in fact. So, so I grew up in, uh, in Sartell, Minnesota, which is almost smack dab in the center of the state. Okay. It's about 70 miles Northwest of Minneapolis, St. Paul area. It's about 200 miles into the 23 or 2,400 mile mighty Mississippi from Ooh. Minnesota all the way down to the Gulf. Um, and so I'm 200 miles into it. So the Mississippi looks a little bit different in Minnesota than it does when you get down to the Gulf. It, it's not that deep. It's not that wide. Um, but I grew up on the river. And so um, earliest memories that I have just of friends and family was us going out in whatever boat we could find. And a lot of times it was a 16 or a 17 foot you know, uh, aluminum boat and just going out and putting a line in. And in fact, uh, my grandma, um, some of my earliest memories of my grandma were exactly that going to her house and she would behind her, behind her Toyota Camry, pull a <laughs> <laughs> an aluminum fishing boat with a small little motor on it. And we would just go out. And, and that was the weekend at grandma's. We would just go and catch a bunch of sunfish and a bunch of panfish. We'd get home, we'd scrape the scales off. She'd fillet it. Um, we'd crunch up a bunch of um, saltine crackers and Ritz crackers mm -hmm. together throw it in the fry pan and that was dinner. I mean, that, that, that is what boating in Minnesota was for me for many, many years. Yeah. I feel like we just got grandma's secret right there. Did <laughs> everybody catch that? It was Ritz crackers and saltine crackers together. Yeah. That's right. 
<laughs> well, and I think that that's, uh, you know, you say that about Minnesota, but just the North in general is it's, it's a huge part of life is uh, and just being out there in the, in the outdoors and uh, experiencing lake life. Uh, I mean, what better way to spend your, your spring and your summer than just sitting there, uh, you know, hearing uh, just nature at its finest out on a lake and uh, just relaxing. I mean, I, I can't think of anything more relaxing than just sitting out on a lake, quiet, open and just chilling. Maybe with yep. a fishing rod in hand. <laughs> that's right. The loons, right? That that's the, the loons. The word, listening to the loons, you get away from the ticks, so you get onto the boat to get away from the ticks, and yep. you get a chance to listen to the loons. Yep. That's for I've sure. I've never heard that before. Sounds like paradise. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you? Uh, what are some? Uh, what would, what's some advice you would give boaters uh, around this time to get prepped and ready to go for uh, for the su- spring and summertime here? Out of the sure. Water. Um, yeah, I mean the the first thing, right, is is to reach out to us. Um, get get on our calendars so that we can get your existing boat if it's stored with us. Um, but really, with with, I don't really want to talk about the the, the situation because eventually this is going to pass, right? But right. Um, we're we're looking for some outlets, especially in Minnesota, where we've been cooped up for six months, not doing a whole yeah. lot, right? You either go to to a gym class or to the gym to, uh, to, to play basketball in the winter, or you go to the hockey rink or, or something like that, but you're only outside for a very little bit of, of time. And so, um, snow is melted, ice is melted, find some stuff to, to enjoy the outdoors, get mm-hmm. on a bike, go for a walk, find somebody with a boat, right? Find, find your own boat, <laughs> come and buy a boat, do some <laughs> enjoy to enjoy what we're going to have the summer, which is going to be a fantastic summer. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, if you have any uh, advice for people uh, who are getting out there right now and they're saying, okay, what do I need to do to get a boat? Or, you know, what, what are the steps other than getting a hold of you? You know, how do they research? What's the best way to research, you know, what boat is right for them? Uh, mm-hmm. Could you give them some advice on that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, marinemax.com is a great place to start, right? We've got a lot of resources, a lot of uh, information on there. Uh, I would say so in, in about the five, almost five years that I've been in, in the boating business with uh, Marine Max, uh, the, the information, the technology has come a long ways for the resources that are available from the manufacturers websites, from, um, you know, you, you've got third parties that are giving information, doing testing on boats, giving specs on boats. There's a lot of ways to start that process. And once you've kind of established what you're thinking about and what you might want to take part in, I've got a team of professionals here. I mean, I've got, I've got guys that have been working on boats for 30 years. I've got guys that have been selling boats for 20 years. Um, so we're, there's a lot of resources here at Marine Max in Minnesota between our three locations. And, um, and, and we'll take you through the process. Um, internally, we, we want to help you make memories, and and that's what it's all about. It shouldn't be stressful. It shouldn't be tough. Let us take you through the process. Well, right. And uh, Mike Anderson's a good good example of that. He's taking care of his customers because he he couldn't even stay on this call with us. So, <laughs> that's right. uh, definitely a good resource is is the team up there in Minnesota. Well, and you have to say too, uh, especially during these times, uh, you know, when when the the computer and your phone are so vitally important uh, because you can't always go interact face to face with a lot of people is the resources that we have on remax.com uh, and just our social media channels. Um, you talk about Mike Anderson. I mean, obviously uh, you can touch, touch base with him in person, but two, he's, he's put a bunch of videos online walking you through mm-hmm. a lot of these boats uh, that are available at his location, the other locations around the Twin Cities. Um, and you can learn a lot about, I mean, we talked about Azimut Atlantis today. We talked about Sea Ray, Nautique, all this stuff is online where you can look through, see pictures, see videos, see colors that you might be able to, to choose from, uh, interior colors, exterior colors, all this stuff. So um, learn, do your research online. Uh, we definitely recommend going on, doing your research online. And when you're ready, pick up the phone, give Eric a call, give Mike a call and uh, get the, the summer started right. That's right. All right, on that note, Eric, cool. anything else to add? <laughs> No, I uh, appreciate you having me. Appreciate you identifying us up here. Sometimes we feel like we're in a different country, <laughs> but uh, we're here. We're, we're doing business. We're taking care of our customers. We'd love to uh, to, to have more as, as part of the family and, and we're here and we're available. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much, Eric. I think that that's a great message. You know, stay safe, boat happy. Um, 
Thank you everybody for joining us on today's voting broadcast. For more information, everything we covered here today, you can visit marinemax.com. You can also follow at marinemaxmn on Facebook and Instagram and for national news at Marine Max Leisure. Uh, well, we hope to see everyone out on the water. And like I said, stay healthy, boat happy. Just want to say shout out to Apple Valley, Minnesota. I grew up there. So <laughs> I can't wait to get back up the, in that area for sure. <laughs> shout out Apple Valley. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks. All. Bye, guys. We'll see you next Thanks, time. Guys.